my Capricorns, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your weekly spread for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. Um, I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. Um, I answer, okay, yeah, through email only. Um, I do not have PayPal. I don't do pre-recorded readings. I don't do email readings. I don't do Facebook readings. I don't do WhatsApp readings. I do readings over the phone, through Skype, or through FaceTime. I feel tired. I just ate a really big sandwich. So I'm like, oh yeah. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> I'm so weird. Okay, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. You've got the you got the um the Emperor. You got the Five of Pentacles, you got the Four of Swords, and then you got the Three of Pentacles. Okay, this is what we got going on. Alright, Capricorn. Okay, so with this with this Ace of Pentacles and then the Emperor, it's looking like you guys will get the stability that you're looking for this week, but I feel like it's been kind of starting, but it's going to keep flowing that way. Also, you guys are um, need to be careful because it looks like you guys get money, but then you, but then you like blow it. Watch blowing that money because it's like big money comes. It's enough to last you a while, but then you blow it all. So what the hell is that about? Um, what you need to do is not go out with people that, that are going to make you do drugs, that are going to make you drink, that are going to make you cheat on your wife or your husband. You need to not hang with those people. Also, um... I feel like for some of you, you're choosing not to take a job out of protection, stability and protection. You're trying to protect yourself. You know, if you, you know, if you go on a certain job or if you keep dealing with certain people for work, that you're going to end up dead. You're going to end up dead or in jail. Those are your options. Broke, dead, in jail, no help, no nothing. All right. So now let's skip to something else. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I got, I don't know why, but every time I go to Capricorn, the energy changes. So this is my selenite. The energy just shifts. So, not today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's, you guys, I'd say 50-50 for everybody. There's 50% that are, that are chill and cool and calm and collected, and then there's 50% that are just out there. That's for every sign. There's no sign that's, exclus that, that's excluded. But I have to tell you, Capricorn, when you, when you do it big, you do it really big. For you guys, when you're when you're up to no good, it's like go big or go home. Uh, I'm I'm go I'm going to win this race. You guys at least have to admit that one. My grandma's a Capricorn. She's the most sweetest, nicest person ever. Like she took took care of everybody's kids in the family. Uh, one of the grandkids ended up crippling her, and then they people were still dumping their children off to my crippled grandma over the years. So this lady is is a saint. So I don't have anything against Capricorns. You know, I know a lot of really, really good Capricorns. But for those Capricorns that are living on the edge and, and doing it big, <laughs> please be careful this week and all of next week. Just be careful. Okay, now, those of you Capricorns that were dealing with an Aries, there's an Aries that's uh, that was broke. Um, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There was an Aries that had money or they, they, they had money or they were living off of somebody or somebody was paying their way. Um, but now the person's not paying their way. So like, so Capricorn, let's say that you, you took back an Aries ex and you were taking care of this Aries. This Aries took all your money and left you broke. That's one scenario. Now, um, some of you had an Aries ex that met somebody with a lot of money and this Aries ex, the person with all the money, they broke up with them and now they don't have anywhere to go and they've got no money. They're getting themselves into trouble. They're doing things that they shouldn't be doing. So keep that in mind this week. So if you do get a phone call from an ex that's an Aries, they need help. So if you have children with this person, you might want to assist them. If they, um, if you, um, you know, I feel like you were on bad terms with them, but I feel like for, you know, for safety's sake, you should say yes. Okay. Now, um, we do have a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius person that is going to be going away from you this week. Um, it looks like they do love you, but they just need time to think about things. Um, also with work. So some of you that do not have a job, you're going to have a job by the end of the week. Work is coming. Or you're going to be hearing that you're starting a job Monday. Work is coming. Also, um, some of you need to just lay low at work and just do your job. Don't don't deal with the petty bullshit. Don't take the bait. I feel like some people want to get a rise out of you. That's why they keep poking you and poking you and poking you. Don't let them win, Capricorn. 
You got control over this. Also, some of you um, were dealing, yeah, again with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius thing. This person's not gone. They're just taking a break and a rest. If they were gone, it would show the death card, meaning the end of the relationship. No more. So for those of you concerned about a, a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then at the bottom of the deck, look what we got here. The Aquarius card. So yeah. So for those of you dealing with Gemini, Libra, big emphasis on Aquarius, they're going to be coming back to you. Also, they may be uh, threatening to file for divorce, but it looks like they're not going to do it. Or they're threatening to move out, or they're threatening to go find somebody else, or they're threatening to get a boyfriend or girlfriend. They're not doing that shit. Also, there's an Aries that wants you to suffer. There's big emphasis on Aries for you guys this week. They want you to suffer. They want to they want to cause drama for you. Just don't take the bait, Capricorn. You you can do better than this. All right, my Cappies, ta-ta for now.